I accidentally snipped off or pulled off the rock's hand. <laughs> His hand are gone. And yeah, this is why movie support sucks. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I will do another comparison between Creality Print, the current version, versus the version 5 that is in the beta right now. And plus, many of you want to see me include Orca Slicer 2, so I'm gonna do that in this video. Let's scratch today's comparison. Okay, so if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link right here. And this time, it's correctly on this side, not this side. <laughs> but when I made that video, I did a comparison by printing some overhang and by printing a test model for it. It includes overhang. It can include bridging, tolerance, and all of that things. But after that video, I was thinking, why should I keep printing these testing models? These testing models are great, but it's not like what people are gonna print every single day. They want to print real models, like all the parts, like functional parts, toys, and all of that stuff right there. So, here's what I did. I 3D printed some dinosaurs right here. And this dinosaur is very cool. This is a triceratop, as you all know. Yeah, I 3D printed some real stuff that people are gonna be printing with. Using Creality Print version 4.3.8, point some other numbers, Creality Print version 5, which is in the beta, and Orca Slicer version 2, which is fully released. So here are the two models that I printed. I chose this model, why? Because they have detail, they have all these small spots, they have overhang, the body, the horn, all the, and all of that stuff, and it's quite a complicated print to print. And I didn't remove the support because, as you can see right here, so you can see right here, I label them. CP means Creality Print version 4.3.8 and point some other numbers, but I'm not even going to include that. And this one is Creality Print version 5.0, the newest version, beta version. And as you can see here, the supports are totally different. This one has slimmer support and this one has like a bigger tree support. You can definitely tell the differences between the supports and all of this stuff right here. And might as well include Orca Slicer 1 and 2. So right here, Orca Slicer V2. So Orca Slicer and Creative Print 5 version 5 have very similar tree support. Even the side here has a very, very similar placement for tree support. Except this tree right here, it kind of differs a little bit. Yes, very similar, but it, there's a little bit different. But the real test here is removing the support, which one can be removed easier. And this is printed using JL PLA Plus. So let's try removing the support from Creality Print version 4.3.8. Let's see if I can remove this. Okay, there we go. Took some force, but got it. I need to use a plier. Okay, so I'm gonna try removing all the supports and see how the result is. Oh my gosh, it's quite hard removing the supports from this one. Many of them looks like legs to me. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so hard to remove the support. I'm gonna break this whole thing. I'm not even gonna try removing any more support. It's gonna take hours. But this is Creality Print version 4.3.8. Next one, we're gonna try Creality Print version 5. Let's try removing the supports. Hmm, easy. It's because the tree are actually slimmer, smaller. It's actually a lot easier. I found it easier to remove support if you uh, trim all of the bottom pieces here so that it's not attached to the brim of the support. It's a lot easier to remove support that way. Got most of them out. Usually that is the place where it gets stuck the most. Okay. It looks like I got all the supports removed. There are still spots I can clean up, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take a very long time. Now it's time for Orca Slicer's support removal. The tail, oh, that came off easier. Okay, let's try removing the horn. Nope, like I said, I'm gonna remove all the bottom pieces here, all the brim, and then I will try and remove the support pieces individually. Okay, I got all of the support all from Orca Slicer 1. And looks pretty good. Orca Slicer has a little bit more stringing, but it's fine. So let's take a look at these two. Are they both identical and stuff like that? Well, let's take a look. The print quality, let's see the print quality. For Orca Slicer, if you look right there, the mouth, if you look at the mouth right there, it has a little bit of sag on the overhang there. But on Creality Print, if you look at the mouth there, it has a little bit better curve than Orca Slicer, which is surprising. But yes, at the bottom, not quite sure if you guys can see this, but right here, right in this area, Orca Slicer has a better overhang than Creality Print. I don't know for whatever reason, the overhang on Creality Print version 5 is 
really bad. For whatever reason, Creative made that even worse than the current version. The current version, the tree support is just so big, so thick that it's just hard, very hard to remove. But I think in terms of quality, they have really, really similar quality by printing something like this instead of just testing 3D models. Okay, now let's remove this T-Rex. It's the rock T-Rex. This is the rock T-Rex. <laughs> Okay, so let's remove Orca Slicer first this time. As you can see here, it's very stringy. It's the default setting. All I did was change the printing speed to 100 millimeters per second for everything except the first layer. I leave that default. Inner wall, outer wall, support, infill, everything is at 100 millimeters per second for PTG. And I just used the setting that Orca Slicer and Quality Print gave us. So let's try to remove the support from this PTG. Hmm, pretty easy. Okay, let's remove this from the rock's face <laughs> and it came off very cleanly. There's just some rims at the bottom that was on by default. I don't know if those two are supports but one of them broke off. I think it's the leg of the T-Rex but yeah it's very stringy and you can hopefully you can see clearly now. <laughs> The rock's face on the T-Rex. I found this model very funny. Oh, and by the way, everything will be linked in the description down below. All the models I print in this video will be in the description down below. Print quality seems really good with PTG at 100 millimeters per second. It's just that it's very stringy from Orca Slicer. And I do find that true with Orca Slicer. The first time I use Orca Slicer is very stringy. But I'm not quite sure because when I check the retraction setting on... Orca Slicer, it's like dark out, there's no value in there, it's set by automatically, but when I fine tune that, it prints really nice, I print this PTG before and no string at all, but since I use the default setting for this testing purpose, there's very string on Orca Slicer. Okay, QLED print version 5. The supports are very similar to Orca Slicer, and it's easy to remove too. Okay, everything came off very easily too, same like Orga Slicer. And Creative Print, there is less stringy on here because there is actually some traction setting on Creative Print. And let's look at the face of the rock. We can see and know that it is him. So the print quality here is good, the support here is good. But let's compare them after I remove the support from Creality Print version 4.3. And yeah, the support on version 4.3 is very bad. There's just way too much support and the tree is just way too thick. Yeah, the support here is just so bad. Oh gosh. There is just way too much support on Creality version 4.3. Ever since I started using Orca Slicer, I forgot how bad removing support is. And as you can see here, there's like some bad cooling right there all the temperature is just normal i forgot to check them but it's just the default setting i don't think i'm gonna even try removing all the support here it's gonna break i totally forgot how bad removing support is ever since i started using orca slicer because as you can see there orca slicer support removal is so easy it's very optimized and it's easy to remove support even pdg pla abs asc and other materials it's quite easy to remove support because they optimize it very well and the tree are very slim. <gasps> I finally got it off from the rock space. Removing support from Creative Print here oh, is such a pain. I think this is why people say that they hate removing support. Eh, it's not that bad on Orga Slicer. Okay, so I just figured out these are actually support. And on Creative Print version 4.3, I accidentally snipped off or pulled off the rock's hand. <laughs> His hands are gone, and yeah, this is why removing support sucks, but Orca Slicer and Creative Print version 5, the support are actually pretty nice. I find the quality very nice on all of them. There are some things here and there, but it's very hard to define on a real thing that people actually will print. But in terms of support, Orca Slicer and Creative Print version 5 are so much better as support than the than Creative Print version 4.3. There's not much to say between here. It's just that Orca Slicer and Creative Print version 5 are better than the older version. Of course, right? It's prone to do that because they are, they are improving more and more stuff like that. But yeah, that kind of concludes this video on different slicer or try printing these and compare it to Creative Print version 5 because it's new. And, and I want to figure out is it better than Orca Slicer? And to be honest, the answer is no. Because while I was printing these, I had so many problems with 
Creative Print, and that still occurs on the newer version. The number one thing I hate about Creative Print is that it cannot send file to your 3D printer at all. Sometimes it works, but 90% of the time it doesn't work. I don't know for whatever reason, Creative Print cannot send printing file to your 3D printer, and Orca Lesser do that so much better. I think over my 100 printing, I only got like one failure or two failure from Orca Slicer, but Creative Print is like every time because I don't know, after you do a couple of revision of the slicing and you try sending to your 3D printer, it sends a file but it does not print and I got to print manually from the 3D printer which is not good because it's your slicer so it should print automatically without doing two and three steps. but. Orca Slicer fixed that, so as of right now, I am gonna be sticking to Orca Slicer and not changing to Creative Print because I take all the time doing the painting support, doing the Z seam, all of that stuff, fine tune adjustment. And when I send print, it doesn't print. I gotta manually do it on the 3D printer's interface, so. Yeah, I just choose Orca Slicer all day long. Well, hopefully this video gives you a good comparison between these two slicers and Creative Print old version and newer version, what to expect. But this is not the beta, so but we will have to wait for the full release of it. And to be honest, most beta almost came out as what they are because, I don't know, they find two or just that so much. And then when they release it to the public as a beta, that's just like a testing to see if it works and they just release it. But hopefully they fix the sending to your 3D prints. Oh and one more thing, on Creality Print you don't have Fluid so you just have Creality's interface which you have a camera and then your temperature graph and then your printing file which never shows up for me. So I just don't want to use that anymore because there's like so little information and you can't even see your bed match even on the new version 5. Why? Just add the full interface to your device of the 3D printer, it's not that hard, I think so. Orca Slicer are like backed up by community like you and me, they have all of that stuff in there. It's not that hard, I think. For me, it is, but for them, they are like professional at doing that. It's their job. I don't know, I'm just going on and on for now. <laughs> <laughs> Things that I would want to see improve and be in the final release of that is the number one thing is being able to send the file directly to the 3D printer and actually print. And the second thing is, I want to see the fluid interface for the control because with Creative Interface, there's like so limited things that you can do. You basically can't do anything because once you start clicking button, it just breaks, saying that the 3D printer is offline. Well, yeah, well, Orca Slicer for the win. I would choose Orca Slicer any day between these two slicers. And yeah, that is it with this video. Make sure you to leave a like. For the rock and if you're new here subscribe for the triceratop leave a comment down below what do you think about this video would you like to see more comparison maybe i can include kira and prusha slicer and maybe bamboo lab but i am running out of idea if i'm gonna do that so let me know in the comments down below what 3d models do you want me to print while doing that testing oh and by the way if you want to do that easier join my discord we have a really great community there we are sharing our prints we are troubleshooting 3d printers we are doing all the things that we love doing 3D printing. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. And as always, keep on 3D printing.